Hello everybody and welcome to this OCAD video. My name is Andreas Kibbutz and I would like to show you some tips how you can draw and edit your maps more efficiently in OCAD. But first I'd like to show you some tips how you can navigate best in the OCAD window. So we have the view toolbar up here. You can customize this toolbar and uh, switch off some icons you don't uh, want to have maybe. I have uh, all my icons visible here and I can for example choose the zoom in icon and that allows me to zoom in to the map and of course I can zoom out or I can also show my entire map by clicking on this icon but actually I hardly use these icons because I have a mouse with a mouse wheel and that works much faster for me if I press the control key on my keyboard and then I scroll my, my mouse wheel I can quickly zoom in to some area and I can zoom out again by scrolling in the opposite direction and then I can zoom in again to another area so that works much faster for me than uh, choosing one of these uh, zoom in zoom out icon. Also we have the pan icon up there so we can choose that to pan my map. Also there there is a shortcut on the on your keyboard so just press the space key and then you will also get that uh, hand cursor and you can pan your map quite easily by holding the key uh, by holding the space key so I zoom out again and if I just scroll my mouse wheel I can uh, shift the map um, horizontally uh, vertically okay, sorry I can shift the map vertically and if I press the shift key I will shift it uh, horizontally the map So now I open a, a second map, for example a, a sprint orienting map and now I have two maps open in my OCAD and I can see both maps up here in the window menu so I can switch between the forest map and the sprint map quite easily but maybe you wanna show, uh, maybe you wanna have uh, both maps shown so I can tile my maps and for example I tile them vertically so I see both maps at once. And if I close one map I double click on here to have my full map again. And then it sometimes happens that uh, you like to open again the map you have just closed. So go to file, open recently used OCAD files and you have a list here. and there you see my sprint orienting map is at the top. So I can open it here again. So in the second part I'd like to show you some drawing tips and there are two very important ones. First of all how to continue an object and second how to follow an, an existing object. So I zoom in into my map again and you see there is a a narrow right, some forest track I'd like to continue. That's why I select the same symbol as the object has and I select also a drawing mode, this time the curve mode and then I can press the shift key and press at the end of this object and you see the object is like selected and that's why I can um, continue this object and I like to end it there and if I select it you see it's one object so we can do it again by selecting this uh, form line then make sure you really have the same symbol as the object you'd like to continue then choose uh, choose a drawing mode up there and then press the shift key and then 
if you have selected this object you can release the shift key and you can just uh, draw your object the second thing is how to follow an existing object so let's say I'd like to fill this area here with some vegetation then I choose a vegetation symbol here in my symbol box again I can choose and then um, drawing mode this time it's the straight line mode and then I start here with my object and I press the control key this time so I press the control key I hold it down and click on this track and I can release my mouse here again and I have still pressed down the control key and I press uh, or I click on this bigger road I release my mouse here and then I do it the same for the open meadow and you see I have filled now this area with a vegetation symbol maybe I do it again this time I have the curve mode active so I start somewhere I press the control key I release it there I can draw some curves and then I do it again that's how it works so you see the borders here there are exactly the same as the path if you're not familiar with these uh, drawing modes I've just uh, chosen then I can recommend you to go to file and open sample map and then you have here this uh, drawing modes OCAD file just open it and this is a small drawing exercise as you see here there are the different uh, drawing modes like the curve mode the ellipse mode the circle mode and so on and then just zoom in and it's written here what you have to do so first I select the symbol in the symbol box then I select the curve mode as I'm drawing with the curve mode and then I just follow the instructions so I click here and hold my mouse down and drag the cursor here and release the mouse then I click here again and hold mouse down until there and you see the purple line should be more or less the same as the gray line below yeah give it a try and uh, you will also find here some tips and tricks how to draw best maps in OCAD. Last but not least we will have a look at some editing tips and tricks. As you probably know objects are made out of uh, vertices. There are three types of vertices. There are normal vertex, uh, corner vertex and dash vertex and you can just click a vertex and uh, shift it and you see also that uh, the object itself changes if you change the vertex you can click here for example to add a normal vertex and uh, click here to remove a vertex it goes, goes also easier if you press the control key and the shift key together on your keyboard you can insert a vertex and if you only press the control key you can remove the vertex so it works quite quickly if you're used to that if there are too many vertices and you do not like to remove all of them there is also this uh, reshape function so we can choose for example the straight line mode and then the reshape function and then I can reshape this part of the building like that and you can not only edit the uh, vertex you can also shift the whole segment so just uh, click on the segment and you can shift the segment like that But what's the difference between the three types of vertices? We will have a look at this example. There is a fence and as you see 
uh, it's not looking very nicely. So if I choose the corner vertex and replace this normal vertex with a corner vertex, it looks differently. And if I choose this dash vertex, that looks really nice. Instead of clicking on this vertex, I can also toggle through the different types of vertices. So I just press the control key and the space key and click on a vertex and then I will toggle through the different vertices types. So also here dash vertex seems to be the best. Maybe another example if we have a path there. And there is a new path coming from here. It ends there. Then I can also just insert the new vertex by holding down Ctrl and Shift key. And then I press Ctrl and Space key and toggle through the different vertex types. And that's the dash vertex that looks best for this example. I can not only toggle through the different vertices types, I can also toggle between straight line segments and uh, Bezier curve segments. For example, in this part, I'd like to have that contour as a straight line, so it's not uh, doing any curve here. I insert again a vertex here and I press the control and the space key again. But this time I click on the segment and you see it switched to a, a straight line segment. And if I click again, it's a basic curve segment and now it's again a straight line segment. So we do the same thing here. Insert the vertex, change the segment to a straight line segment and that looks very nicely. Here there is a contour that's going over stairways and I'd like to cut out this part of the contour line. So I can choose my cut function up there and then I can also hold down the control key and I can insert a virtual gap. So as you see the contour is still one object but this part of the contour line is now uh, empty, so I insert here a gap. I can repeat it up there. Of course, I can also do it without holding down the control key. Then you see I have two different objects now, one here and one there. So that was it from the editing part, and we are at the end of the video. I hope you could uh, discover some new functionality and use it also in your work with OCAD. Thank you for watching and see you next time.